you know, a win over Duke can make your basketball season suddenly. A lot of teams are having pretty good seasons. Yeah, if Virginia Tech had known visits from the Blue Devils could be this much fun, they probably would have asked into the ACC a lot sooner. Dukies, first trip to Blacksburg since February of 1954. That's been a while. Va Tech by one in the first half. Carlos Dixon to Coleman Collins. 14 points, 18 rebounds, and a top 10 nominee for Coleman Collins. Second half, Dukies up 54-53, nursing the one-point lead. Dixon, good look. He had 18, and Tech has a two-point lead after the three. Two minutes to go. We're knotted up at 60 again. Jeff King, turnaround hook in the lane. Love the kids with the elbow. 62-60 home team. Back comes Duke. Sheldon Williams in traffic. Not a scare to the traffic. Bank shot goes. He had 16. We're tied at 62. Now it's really crunch time. 38 seconds of taking Dixon in the lane. Can't get it to go. Jamin Gordon jumps the highest, gets the tip. Pokies by a deuce. Back comes Duke. J.J. Reddick for three. Onions, three of eight from deep. He had 19. That is a big shot to put his team up by one, but Xavier and Dodell, bigger shot. Hand in his face, fires. 67 65, Va Tech. Seth Greenberg sticking around for this one and watching this. Throw the basketball in. Throws it into Reddick. He catches it way out high. Pass on the right to Ewing. The three to win. No good. Virginia Tech knocks off Duke. Final score. Hokie 67, Blue Devils. 65. Give it to the Goblins for just the sixth time in 36 games against Duke. Len Elmore, courtside, sell it to us, baby. This had to be the biggest win in maybe 25 years for Virginia Tech, and they did it with an awful lot of heart and guts. You know, you had the emotion of the crowd here, young players who can play on emotion, and certainly had revenge on their mind after the 35-point loss to Duke earlier. But it came down to individuals making plays on both ends for Virginia Tech, block shots, and Jamin Gordon was terrific tonight. I think that Seth Greenberg now has his team at a point where he believes that they belong in the ACC.